all right guys we're gonna try this one more time i'm hitting play let's see how the stream goes and uh yeah i uh, lowered some settings changed some things up we will see what happens and uh, let's rock and roll so one thing to note is Kabraken has a uh, helm rush here which lets him get less pots but it does let him get the stats online early It'd be definitely interesting, obviously, going against... This is kind of what they said, you know, bringing mages slash guardians back into the solo lane. You know, you're able to kind of do that with, with this item. Uh, but they obviously do give up pressure on the right-hand side because of the fact that it is a guardian. Not, not the best clear. They'll go ahead and take the fire elementals. And it looks like right-hand mid harpies will also uh, go to Circa Esports. So a uh, small lead so far in that aspect. Uh, but let's take a look at the duo lane, which you guys said Apollo and Sovic should have the advantage. Yeah, somehow they uh, got the late really after, playing far back. but that may be because Nuwa clears a little worse than uh, the Janus. Well, nice little uh, knock-up by Prodigy right there to kind of get rid of Sabbath, but still hits the two-man taunt. A little bit of poke going to come back out. Not too much, but the left-hand mid harpies is where the action at. Caden's in a little bit of trouble. He's going to jump over right there in place, but Shaka is able to hit the unstable Vortex in... Era is wrecked right there, and B, if for purification as well in the mid lane, uh, Caden's going to be having that timer really easily once he hits five. Look for the, look for the gravity surge for an easy kill. That was a really nice play to take the early damage that you have on a wheel sort of red pot and really just bring it to them and assert their pressure. That's how you play a wheel. It's <laughs> tough to sit there and be like, you know what, I'm going to jump on top of the person like as in a wheelix or as in a thor anytime you use your quote escape ability offensively it could always be tough as Caden and shaker are making the rotation to the right hand side this could be trouble for Kabrak and sweet copen is hanging out in the tower still fine okay is kind of this auto attacking uh Caden's already level five not gonna miss too much farm here as he did get the first blood but it doesn't look like the Kabrak wants to come out this new wall being level 3 is a big hit because they lost both to the mid camp. She didn't get the fire camps and she also took a death. She is way behind this Giannis now, purple pot or not. Oh. They also got the fire cubes right too, right? Yeah, they yes. did. Yeah. That's that's a really hard hit for you. This you have to at least get the mid camps or those. You can't lose both. That's really hard to come back from in the early game. They're going to get fire really early, which they have. Another nice two man taunt. Wowie and Sabbath doing a good job over here hitting the two man taunts and also hitting the. What is Jingwei's one called? Dang it. Oh, Persistent Gust. Okay, that's what it is. And using the knockup right there. Uh, but Caden did lose a little bit of farm on the right-hand side. Stay there for about 30 seconds. Uh, but there really weren't too many camps up, so not too, too bad right there. He's still level 6, a level and some change above his counterpart. Uh, again, should have the advantage. He's going to back for that tier 3 boots right at this point in time. Should have the gold. And Shaka will do the back harpies. And we'll see what else is going around in the slap fight in the solo lane. Actually, Sweet Copen has a slight advantage as he cleared the wave and will hit 6 for 4. But... Copen not looking to fight on Kabraken at full health, which is very awkward in the solo lane. I mean, when I'm full health, I'm looking to auto attack. It's interesting to see Circa have so much pressure and a really strong early game and not pressure their red or speed, even though they got the early kills and are really far ahead for early game. I think that was mostly to do with Caden actually had to back beforehand, so they didn't have their jungler to pressure it, and that's always a very risky idea. It's also interesting that they're actually letting the red buff go to Shaka here instead of giving it to Wowie, which is usually what you do, give it to your hunter through the early game to help with the boxing potential. He's going to be a huge disadvantage now to Valken, who actually does have the red buff. Well, we'll see what ends up deciding to happen. A store is going to make a trip. Yeah, we'll see where he decides to go. Blue buff was stolen. We're taking a ride with the Thor. He's going to dunk down and miss everything as a... Yeah, he just uh, kind of whipped on that. I mean, whether he was not going in or whether he missed is, uh, you know, really up for discretion right there. But either way, Thor ultimate down. It was uh, just a disengaged because it, it looked like a pretty bad fight into a you know, Wheelix. Adis really need to start playing up on the circuit at some point because I, I really don't think they're going to win late game this team comp, especially against characters like Ying, Jingwei, Giannis, Athena. Like that oh, late game oh, coming Jingwei. up from the circuit is crazy. I mean, you're an ADC fatal. Jingwei, I had a fight one yesterday. Unbelievable the amount of power that this character has late game. Early game can possibly struggle, which is why you said, you know, give the red buff over. But gonna hit the one-man taunt in the middle. Prodigy gonna take a lot of poke. There's the up and over right there. The portal should do this right here. But Caden will KS it pretty hard. And whether you want to secure it or kill, you steal it, it's up to you. But uh, we'll hit the Moonlight Charge. Look at that kill. Giannis damage right now. Nua was at full health before she took that unstable vortex. This is crazy. That was a, that was a pretty impressive CC chain, and Thor had actually had a good wall to stop a lot of the aggression, but they played that perfectly and were able to get the kill. 
Oh, three man taunt in the mid lane right there. That's gonna drop two in the portal. The purification is used right there. There goes the fog of war to be able to zoom out. Sabbath is gonna be in trouble. Shake it cleans out. Oh, goes down in the back. gets that, and all of a sudden it's still a two for one trade for support as the solo laner on the right hand side got ganked. And Apollo is in the air. Shaka still wants his kill. Misses the unstable vortex. That's a really weird ability sometimes to hit. Uh, unfortunate that it didn't do the damage. Wasn't going to get the kill secure anyways. As uh, a little bit too much help for the Thor. But two for one. Trade out as a support for a delayed support kill. But uh, yeah, Sabbath is hitting these two-man taunts. And these guys are just grouping up a little bit too much. Sabbath, Steph's insane worth. Because it's always good to die for your team. Support life. <laughs> support life is there. I mean, Sabbath does have two assists. He'll be all right with that. Elix does have three kills, especially since she started Purple Pot. Kaden showing that he doesn't need the setup to necessarily play this character effectively. We have Fine OK proxying the wave over here. Thor on the right is looking side. for Osiris in left lane with his ult. Oh, well, let's see what happens. Osiris was lazy backing. Well, Fine OK is going to take two tower shots. Oh, about four now necessarily. He's going to go ahead and have to pop the, the the three. And oh, I forgot to hit the L for the slow mo button right there as uh. But that just occurred, so we'll go ahead and get back to fast forward time. And it looks like everyone's just going to disengage this, unless Sabbath hits a taunt again. Oh, they're they're gathered. Oh, they're going in for this dive. That combination Thor. is so good. That was a really good rotation. Gold Fury, though. This is a smart play. Okay. Four players over there on the right-hand side. This is what you do if you're playing. Check out your casual games for what you do. Gold Fury, but Jingwei they're is so here. Behind. With the... They just don't have enough damage. Jingwei has the this, ability this to steal this with the circa. bomb. Wowie is going to get the kill on Vulcan right there. And then Kaden gets the kill. Prodigy falls. It was the right call by Aetis, but they didn't have the damage. They still could this... go Nuwa's way. Oh, Nuwa gets it. That was pretty good by Nuwa to salvage that because that was going really downhill for them really fast. It's still a really rough game, but that would have been just pretty much GG if they got that gold fury and kill that, it. Yeah, uh, let's take a peek at the graphs after that fight. You will see the very small dip in gold, and that is Nuwa playing a very smart steal right there. I mean, the gold fury is kind of taunted, but let's be realistic. I think Circa Esports is happy with the fact they still got three kills for a gold fury, uh, and they're probably going to oh, be looking sure. at this tower. Oh, the double tap. Wow, he's in a little bit of trouble to knock up. A uh, little bit of a misplay. Berserker Barrage does make it knock up immune. Wowie not going to be able to go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, so uh, whether it's just a little bit of a... I don't think yeah. that honestly was a misplay. I think he was looking to maybe counter-engage on the Thor. And if you get knocked up by your own ability as Jingwei, you actually get a pretty massive attack Another speed steroid, which lets you put out a way more damage. These Sabbath. taunts are brutal. Sabbath is hitting all the taunts right now, and they're always more than one member of the team. And Unstable Vortex is going to take out a lot of chunk of damage, but there's the Feather Step. Apollo's going to jump in. There's the knock. Oh, this could well. turn around. We're going to look at one now. Final K is in the right-hand side, still looking at the wave. and uh, he Great knock placement by Jolly. Another two-man taunt by Sabbath. Athena is a god. I don't think you should do people. Athena has to. Oh, Crazy. the snipe! Shaka will light it up in the Apollo. Falcon will get a raise oh in Oh my Prodigy. gosh, they have so much damage coming out right now. They just have such a lead. It's not even the gold so much as it is the experience. I probably want to head over those graphs and look at that difference. Yeah, I mean, 7,200 experience is not something to you know be lightly about. It's fine. Okay, it does get picked up over there on the right-hand side and the solo lane. Overstaying is welcome a little bit. Poor Osiris. Uh, he's got four assists, 0, 1, and 4 reads his stat line. But, I mean, right now, the, the two killers are real. I mean, honestly, the MVP is Sabbath for a lot of these taunts. Uh, Caden's playing great at 6 and 1. Well, Wowie's at 3, 0, and 2 right now. And another... Ooh, it looked like Sabbath was going to get at least 2, but that wall was on point. And Sabbath's playing four. a good Athena. He is just ruthless with taunts. He's taunting off cooldown and getting everybody's beats. I'm not sure if he's just being very ruthless or they're positioning really bad, but he is getting their beads on cooldown. Yeah, I mean, they, I they're definitely now that they should be spreading out a little bit more. Like, these taunts from Sabbath are crazy, but they're also really playing into it a little bit. They're grouping like, against Athena, much, yeah. you have to play kind of spread out, like, on each side of the lane much more than you do against other characters. It's an understanding of how big that cone is and, you know, do you have your purification? Do you not have your purification? Right now, everyone on the team is, is level less than level 12, and you're not getting that second relic until you're level 12 right now, so you don't have a sanctuary option. Uh, and if you haven't picked up beads, honestly... Uh, with this team composition, I wouldn't be surprised that Sobek picks up the beads because he's just getting erased. I mean, he seems to be the first priority target and taunt into Feather Step into Unstable Vortex is just very brutal. So, um, working together though, I mean, using the abilities the right way as Wowie has a little bit of a lead. I mean, everyone on Circa has a little bit of a lead 
as uh, again this is the number one challenger cup seed uh, versus uh, right now obviously the lower bracket of things if you explanation point brackets you will see that this is the 32nd seed so this is kind of to be an expected matchup this is more circus you know first round like we're gonna go ahead and get the warm-up game going uh, this is not unexpected by any means we have a wheelie skank with the athena alt. Well, single man taunt this time around, but there's that combination, yeah. That... They have the damage to finish off even the tankiest characters right now off that taunt. Well, if Aethys it... wants to start winning this game, they need to start baiting the Athena taunt well, on Bino one person take some with beads, the and... and then counter-engage with a Sobek Puck on the Athena who just is dash taunted, and then blow them up. That, that's how they're going to come back into this game, but they're just getting picked off with no follow-up and no punish. A little bit this of a dive right here. Oh, here. Shaka, two for two on the snipe attempts, and they're both on this poor Apollo. Feels bad, man. Apollo is just getting erased by the through space and time abilities as the right hand, or left hand tower, I should say, is getting ready to fall here. Auto attacks happening by Wowie. Not quite enough damage, but another taunt into another unstable vortex. And, well, Sweep Copen's trying to go ham, but I don't know if this is going to do anything. I like this from Adis, trying to put the pressure on in the fight. They're actually doing a lot more damage now. They're not letting themselves getting engaged on anymore. That With that dash, it was ill-advised. I don't think they would have had enough to kill potentially. Well, Sobek was in the air. That's They're going to three-man, four-man dunk possibility. He'll get two. Spin the win. That's Purification the used. Beats, There's a wall. Thor is playing high. very well. The double tap won't connect directly. Apollo is also in the air, and he decides not to engage. Apollo, you have all that health and mana. You have to engage on the target. There's two or three so low. You just dive in, you mess. Oh, Gold Fury is getting ready to start. Kaden might just be baiting this because they think everyone's back and he might look for a quick kill. We'll see what ends up happening. Gold Fury there. did just spawn. They could be going for it here. They could at least force the pick on Kaden. They should be at the gold right now. They need to try to take the initiative back for this game, and they're just not going for it. it Gold Fury was definitely the correct, hey, you see everyone backing, you see all the low health bars. Uh, they made the right decision when they were in the solo lane to make the Gold Fury rotation. Just the, this time around, not necessarily on the same page. They probably should have been at Gold Fury, you're very correct. And uh, that would have been not, they wouldn't have definitely been free because Kaden was still there at level 14. Uh, realistically, he could have defended a little bit, but uh, and then Athena ult was up and available, so Sabbath could have made the rotation. But still, uh, you know... I would have liked to at least see it started or tempted. For sure. That, that was anything but a free gold fury. But absolutely worst case, it was a free pick on a level 14 of wheels. Ooh, Caden steals the red with his three. Oh my gosh. Caden didn't get that right there. And then here comes the bomb squad. The, oh man, the aerial assault by Wowie. He's hitting these ultimates, which is actually the one thing that a lot of people said because it's a long cast time. And uh, But Wowie's doing the damage. We'll take a quick peek at the charts. He's at 5,800. I mean, he's doing his thing right there. You know, it airstrike. Like Ua decided just to let this go. This is going to go to Circa as well, and this lead just keeps on piling up. Yeah, I don't think they could, could really contest that. They could have maybe stole it, but it would have been probably not worth it. So we've got three feeders on the team of Circa Esports right now. We've got Fano K with one death, Caden with one death, and Sabbath with one death as well. Oh, the feeder is officially Fano K. There's okay. the double. There's the there's the double deuces of death, and Fano K is officially versus three members of the Red Squad. He actually just got soloed by those three players. I can't yeah, believe it. He got absolutely soloed by those three <laughs> players. Soloed. Gosh, Fano K gets soloed by three players. Feels bad as Caden is level 15. Everyone, wow, the level differential is actually unreal. 15, 15, 15. The only one not 15 is the support, and that is Sabbath at level 11. And that's still two levels above the Sobek. Feels bad for the 0 6 Sobek. Uh, I do like the way Thor has been playing. Suave on this store has impressed me relatively. He's had good walls. Uh, mechanics seem to be on point. Things seem to be working out. Uh, it just, again, I think the team is, again, that wall right there to stop the taunt, but just it doesn't, can't do anything else off of that. And, he seems to be probably getting ready to fall here as... Very, oh. very good mez by Valken. Actually, the Shaka will miss the snipe that time, so he's off on that about... he's uh, I think he's two for three on these snipes now at this point in time when he's aiming for him, and uh, that's not still a bad accuracy, but Thor will get away with his life. And uh, didn't use Purification, which is a little surprised. I thought he was going to pop that just because of the taunt, but he'll have that for another Thor day. Thor is TPing back to this fight. I'd imagine uh, Thor's going to go in the air. Yeah, we're going to see what happens here. We'll take a ride with Thor. Need, they need a good engage here to turn this game around. All right, well, Thor's going to dunk down. Here's the Sobek ultimate going to come out. The taunt's there. Purification's still not used, but Swab gets... Oh, Thor gets too far. Swab gets absolutely erased. I was just saying how I like this play style, and I enjoy the fact that he went in. Killateral was saying they needed a good engage. Uh, well, Sobek was ulting. 
were lurking in the waters, and I thought that was going to be their engage, but it looked like they decided not to go on it. Single man taunt, not going to matter. Oh, big wall. He just barely missed everyone in that wall. Sweet coping off by inches, and that inches just cost him his life as... If he gets that four, he if, he gets, comes out here. if he gets all four members in that wall, that's just unfortunate right there. As uh, again, the smart play was there. Oh, poor portal drop right there. And Vulcan is going to end up using purification a little bit too late. You can't use purification when you're already knocked up, as uh, that's just going to waste your purification. You have to use it before. Final K almost got the triple feed, but luckily, luckily. The triple feed would have been real as uh, Sheikah is level 17. Really wondering why the level 12 Thor is fighting. But I give it to Thor. Oh, Gravity Surge. Hey, Katie and Naka. I think that's the yeah, first Gravity Surge I've seen. pretty over. That engage was good, but they were a little too far behind to actually do it. For Aedis to win this now, they need pretty heavy mistakes coming out from Circa. And so far, Circa just have not made those mistakes. Yeah, Circa this, would have to yeah. BM them in Fountain and then all die. This is uh yeah this is one of those scenarios that we say look Atis can't probably win but Circa can throw I mean realistically if the game keeps going the way it's going Circa obviously has the advantage and is expected to win this game uh, and by all means like I said understand that yes I'm part of Circa guys and everyone that's watching but I am still a caster first and I am gonna cast misplays and I'm gonna make fun of them for feeding like fine okay. Uh, I, if I see something wrong, by all means, my job as a caster first to give you the best possible analysis and the, and the best possible cast. So again, I mean, I'm not going to be playing favorites by any sort of means. As Sweet Copen wanted a blue buff, he just wanted a blue buff, and he took about a quarter like of his he got HP. It. He did get it, but he lost a quarter of his HP, and now Kaden. So we completely Kaden's missed really it. Really heavy forward here. He we completely yeah. missed it, but Awelix has the knockup. Unfortunately, they have no I mean, wards. Uh, the the Jingui has the knockup for the Awelix. We didn't even mention that. We thought that... he was playing it by himself. We completely forgot to mention that. You know what? I did forget about the little Jingwei knockup as Fire Giant is started at the 16 minute and 55 seconds. They don't have any market. idea. Yeah, there's no vision. They have no clue. New uh, ults, and they have vision now, but that's not going to matter as uh, everyone is in the wrong position. Uh, at this point in time, this is a Phoenix defend. You got to give the tier 2 and right. The team's got to understand. I need to see wards here, here. I'm on the minimap. You guys can't see me, co casters, but you guys know where I'm warding on the back end. Uh, you know where to place the wards at, guys, when, when you're sitting there. Uh, it, on the defense, so like I said, they need to place the wards there, there, and there, and hopefully that, uh, give up this tier 2, don't engage Look this, at this engage. Yeah, this is they what needed. They just go bro. in all the time. Yeah, that needed not to happen. You couldn't fight at the tier 2. You needed to fight more at the Phoenix. It's a fire giant team at 17 minutes. You're not going to be able to do a lot, uh, especially as low level as you are. This Phoenix does look to fall as well as the siege starts. Uh, at this point in time, yeah. I mean, wow, he's just doing a ton of damage. I really don't oh. think they can do much to defend this. They're... Well, there's oh, Shaka with the snipe about massively behind. That would have been killing Athena, but in this situation, that just well, they're even diving behind. fountains here. My God, no, they weren't diving fountain. He was just if trying to chase should, them before the they fountain. They should take a clean sweep of the phoenixes here. They should yeah, all go. It, it will. These all three of these will go if they uh, get any more wipes right here. As uh, prodigy, that has happened. The prodigy at least seven of nine times for his deaths. Taunt into feather step into annihilation has been. The issue as uh looks like suave is still fighting this respect the suave for still fighting it out but uh he hits the f6 button before he can die right there and that's going to be round number two for the challengers cup guys circuit esports will take this over atis 27 to 4 was the final uh, again that was kind of an expected matchup explanation point brackets will give you the full set of what they're going to be facing off against i believe it's versus refuse